Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here on the Afterlife server. Today, guys, we're going to be doing something pretty mega. If you look around the entirety of this interior of the saucer portion of the starship, we are going to basically fill it all out and there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. Last time we ended up building all the elevators and stuff, so they are all functional and get us from floor to floor. It's pretty fantastic actually, but we're going to pick up all these boxes. I'm going to get all the materials together because it's going to be a lot of materials and I'm just going to very, very quickly just put all this stuff together. Just all the walls in, you, you know, the ship is cool and all, but I think we're spending a little too much time on it and I just want to, you know, I want to I wanna hyper speed through it a little bit <laughs> and uh, get us to a point where we can start getting other afterlife members up here because I have rooms designed for them to come up and uh, decorate and make their own so we actually have to get that stuff together too. And if you're wondering, the clone is still growing. It's taking a little longer. I think it's the adjustment we made to the clone in that uh, uh, we were able to control some features of how the clone turns out and one of the features one of the most important features was to of course make sure that the uh, the free will modulator was turned way down otherwise we might have a rebellion on our hands so yeah that's still going we're still waiting on that and yeah 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 so I'm gonna go down gonna go grab some materials and next time you see this we'll just go on the full tour why don't we it's kinda like a meme isn't it I mean, to say I built it off camera is kind of like saying I did some mining off camera, but really, guys, you, I, I promise you don't you don't want to see this. You really don't want to watch me sit here and, and just fill in these blocks, right? You you would rather just see it in its in its finished form, right? Well, that's what we're gonna do. So that that's what's happening right now. I know it's a bit of a meme, but that's what we're doing. Huh. It worked! <laughs> Winter tooth. What? Welcome aboard the USS Afterlife, my friend. <gasps> I'm on a spaceship? You're on a spaceship. We're in space right now. Oh, boy. Now, before we do anything, there are rules here. And unfortunately, I, I'm not following my rules right now. And we need to change. I have something for you, my friend. You have something for me? I have something for you. This is amazing, Wintertooth. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I love it. That means I get to be a real captain now. I need to fix the pips on my shirt. Oh, goodness. I just, oh, no. <laughs> I have the wrong pips. <laughs> so, yes, we have a captain bear and we have a commander. Commander Ooh. Kyle. Oh, yes. Because I'm pretty sure that's the next rank down from captain aboard a starship. <laughs> so I'll take it. There... I've, I've gotten lost so many times, so we just have to be really careful about not losing each other. <laughs> right, sounds good. This is a, a very underdeveloped ship still in the making, uh, so if you see empty rooms, it's because nobody's moved in yet, and you're the only one who likes me right now. <laughs> so I get to build all of the rooms. Exactly. Here is my cloning facility, and I'm just now realizing Ooh. that my clone is missing. Um, oh, dear. So keep an eye out for a loose, naked polar bear running around the ship. <laughs> this this is already turning into a great Star Trek episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I'm the one wearing the red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and between this room and the last room we just saw, that's pretty much all the rooms. Wow. Great tour. <laughs> Thanks, Wintertooth. <laughs> this is so cool. There are seven floors, seven decks on this starship. There's cool. plenty of space. I think there's something like 24 bedrooms for members to actually have their own space. Wow. Am I calling this a science room of some sort? There's one either upstairs or downstairs. I don't remember, but there's there's another, <laughs> there's another science room. Some captain you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I've gotten lost so many times on this ship. It's 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 kind of ridiculous, actually. Oh, but there is something cool on this on this floor. If I, yeah, I think I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Why don't you step through this door? Go ahead, go oh. for it. Oh, 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 dear. Oh. Welcome to the holodeck. All you have to say is, uh, you just you just have to tell the ship 
which um what you want to see where you want to be uh, and, and then it will change uh, it okay uh computer take me to a beach in jamaica yeah, these these rooms uh these were pretty oh my goodness it, it gives you motion sickness <laughs> to be in there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's I don't even ask me. You'd have to run around all these floors to figure out what's all here. <laughs> um but we can let's go let's go upstairs. I think we're closer to okay, upstairs okay. than we are downstairs. So, one of us just has to walk around it. And the other one has to walk through the button. Oh. Oh, 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 you, oh, you, oh you, you sent oh, me. Oh. Oh, I'm <laughs> I'm on the innards. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Did you make it? Uh, hold on. Okay. I survived. There you go. I was worried about me for a second there. <laughs> 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 that is so cool. And look the arrows. Look I, at the arrows. I know the arrows. They're, they're so perfect. Aha. I was right. This is the other science floor. Oh, uh, okay. It was, oh, it wow. Was up. Such potential. There's so much room for activities. <laughs> and then we have, uh, these are the commander's quarters. So we have a uh, commander's oh. quarters here. The next one, we, there's a, another commander or, you know, red shirts. Red shirts are up yeah. here. Yeah, red shirts, that's right. But yeah. there's there's plenty of bedrooms. These are the largest. I'm still laughing about your cotton tail. <laughs> you leave my tail alone. <laughs> you ever try to shave a tail? Problem is, the tail's still there. <laughs> Now I want you to make a skin where it's a skin tone tail and you've shaved it. <laughs> oh, you won't like it. You ever seen a shaved polar bear? Ooh, never mind. This never is, mind. It's the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> uh, do not press these buttons. You'll be evacuated into the vacuum of space and die. But they are fully functional. Those things will take you. will just launch you straight into space. I want to push it. Oh, here we go. Yes. Ooh. Drink it in. That is Planet <sighs> Afterlife. Look at that. How it's cool. So, it's so small. This is kind of like the captain's quarters, you know, where you, you come up here for meetings and, and Right, such. oh right. This this is where you come to get chewed out. Right, that's where we're gonna get a big old desk over here with one large chair on this side. <laughs> and then I'll have I don't know, a couple chairs on that side for all the peons. Ooh. Ooh, this room is atmospheric. This I is, like it. We're currently, everything's being powered through the hub of the ship right now, the, the body. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But we're going to get all the all the control panels installed up here and, and reroute power up to here. This this will be literally where you drive the ship. Engage. Make it, it so. Make it so. Number one. Oh, wait, that's me. I order you to take a number two. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It, I don't know why this just hit me. I can't imagine watching Next Gen in Spanish and hearing Picard say, Numero uno. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just can't imagine that. Now I want to go look that up just so I can witness it for myself. <laughs> All right. Now, last time this thing closed before I had a chance to get on. I'm going to get a running start. <laughs> hey. <sighs> I Yay! Uh -huh. <laughs> You're taking damage, and I'm not. You didn't take damage. I keep taking nope. damage on the down ticks, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, what is on the red floor? Hmm. I'm asking you. <laughs> um. Um. Uh, there's, there's lots of space for activities. You know, that's the real. That's the real of, selling point here. Lots of space. Oh, I know what goes uh, in here, though. Uh, we don't have it yet. I need a. I need somebody smarter than me. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about hiring Puff to invent and install a warp drive here. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, we're we're kind of missing a very that, important detail, and it's the that thing does that gets sound us. like a very Puff a Puff thing. I I think I think he might be the man for the job. And then aha, here we go. And then we have bedrooms. So this is like your average size bedroom. And there's, like, so there's like 20 or 24-ish bedrooms on the ship, so there should be plenty of room for everyone. I think I, I missed it, but upstairs, one of the higher floors, there is uh, in, an entire quarter of the ship that's just like one of those rooms. And I'm thinking about hiring KB and getting a division of his, of his bar here on the ship. So there will be a Ooh. KB's bar up here. I think that could be oh. really cool. Can we make KB a cork skin? I know, I know. Listen, I'm a DS9 guy, but you can't, you can't fault me for loving Quark, okay? 
I mean, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're on the purple level. Now, oh, look at the this, this floor has significance in that it's also more bedrooms, but also, and this is the only way I've been able to not get lost, is looking at the stairs, you go left. <laughs> okay, looking at the stairs, we go left. And then you take a right. Right. And then you can't miss it. It's right in front of us. We have a sweet, sweet elevator. Ooh. I will let you push the button. Good, sir. Cool. And this will take us down. And then once we reach the bottom, we'll be in the body of the ship. And the doors automatically open for us. Oh. Oh. Ooh. And now we're in, like, the actual body of the ship. Careful getting close to the uh, force field at the, bo at the back. It doesn't actually, like keep physical beings out it just <laughs> hey they got, they got in rods coming out their nose <laughs> that's they, amazing they're adorable that's so cool <sighs> i needed the intelligence so, oh, i'm sorry to... you said you said something important about force field Did, be careful don't it won't stop your physical body from passing through it oh. and it's a vacuum of space out there <laughs> that is so cool Oh, I, oh, it's gonna. It, I can't wait to take this on trips. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is mostly just like a storage bay, ship landing dock section. Of course, we got the we got the light cruiser here. So if we have to, if for some reason the atmospheres are too terrible for our teleportation yeah, systems, yeah. yeah, we can manually fly down there. How much concrete is this? Uh, there's probably over a hundred thousand blocks in this build. No, there, I, there definitely is over a hundred thousand. There's like a hundred and fifty thousand blocks. Jeez. And so I'm assuming this button calls the elevator back down? Yeah, so if there's multiple people on the ship, which ideally there would be, there's still a naked polar bear running around somewhere. Uh, <laughs> and, the sh and the elevator's up there and you're down here. You can, Yeah, you can you can push that button and it will summon it to you. I found That's that fancy. you want when you go up, you want to try to stand in one of the corners and not in the center line. Okay, okay. Because of the the nature of the flying machine, sometimes you can glitch through and the center line is honey blocks, which then you cannot jump back out of the block you glitch through oh. because it's a honey block. <laughs> space is dangerous. Who would have thought honey would play such an important role in space? All right, What's we your can... ship made out of? Some, some special alloys and some honey. And some honey to hold it all together. And then if we go down... <laughs> this is kind of like a... Um, I don't know yet, room. <laughs> <laughs> but then my favorite room of them all, the observation deck. Ooh. Because you can see the ship. You can see the ship. Oh, look at it. Oh, that's so you, cool. You can see the that's ship. That's so cool. You can see the planet. Who would have thought that a planet made out of cubes would be so circular? Yeah. Weird. Okay, I take it back. Maybe it is really, really big. I mean, I think that's the town hall right there. I can still see that. <laughs> you can huge. see the town hall from space. From space. <laughs> that's pretty much the ship. I mean, it's it's really hard to drink it in. You got yeah, you got to take some time for yourself and just run up and I, down these halls. I fully intend on getting lost. It's it's easy to get lost. I've ran around this ship so many times. Like, yeah, I swear, when you're looking to go do some work on the outside of the ship. You think you're on the purple floor. You really you're on the yellow <laughs> floor and. Like, what's going on? What color was I on? I think that. Or be... if anybody ever figured out how to do Among Us. Oh, if we did bro, Among Us on this ship. Oh. Could you imagine that? <laughs> we gotta hire us a Mario. I think he's got a little experience with it. So yes, this this is this is my ship, and there's there's really this... nothing here. <laughs> well, Captain, this is glorious. I'm glad we have upgraded from a pirate ship to a spaceship. It is, it's very becoming of you. It's, we can truly loot other worlds now. I mean, visit. Visit other worlds now. Yes. We Sorry. can go visit other worlds and take their space booty. Space booty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming yeah. aboard the ship. Uh, so this will this will take me back home then? Uh, yes. Sure, he's fine and and made it. You know, we we have we have other issues. There's still 
a loose polar bear. I have no idea where he is, but we're gonna have to delay locating him for the time being. You see, the ship, I've been getting warnings, the lights have been flashing occasionally, flickering. Um, we really need a warp drive now because the warp drive is not just a, a way to travel from point A to point B, it's also like the power source, it's the heart of the ship. We're running on backup energies right now. So I think, I think it's time to call in a puffing fish. Ah, oh, Puff, you've made it! <laughs> Look at you! Yes, oh, I have. You're looking so fantastic. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought you here, Engineer Puff. Hmm? Yes? Um, I'm, yeah, yeah, I, I am wondering, kind of. This ship looks pretty cool. I don't know what's going on. You it, should fill me in here. Don't, don't freak out. You are in space. You are aboard the USS Afterlife. We are in orbit around the planet. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, breathe it in. But, but I brought you here for a very important reason. You see, I believe very strongly that you are the only person smart enough for this job. Hmm? You yes, see this, definitely. This, this giant empty area in this room? We have, yes, we have a we have a big problem. We can't actually go anywhere. We don't have a warp drive, which is what this room is supposed to have. And I'm not smart enough okay. to make one. Well, I happen to have the knowledge. Okay, so if we look over here, over in that, okay, here, l let me show you. Let me show you. Right here, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to put a few T flip flops with some falling edge monostable circuits on top of them. Right. And then that output is going to go into some burnout clocks, which is then going to feed the warp drive, which will also put more energy into the wibbly wobblies and then make the ion engine run without needing extra power. And that also in turn makes the flux capacitor go. Oh, I didn't understand anything you just said. Okay. okay. It, it sounds like you know what you're talking about. Is Does this thing run on any, on any sort of fuel or uh, do um, we... Yes, so that's the one thing. We need um, red mushroom blocks to fuel this thing. You've invented a, a warp drive that runs on red mushroom blocks? Yeah, and if you actually feed it red mushroom cows, it runs even faster. What? <laughs> Do we, wait, so you're telling me we're going to be flying through space powered by mushrooms and potentially <laughs> <Yeah>. cows? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know what? I'm I am so impressed with you, Puff. I I don't think you've left me with any other options. I'm going to have to promote you to Chief Engineer Puff. Yes. <laughs> that that'll show them. All right. Um. So can I expect this to be built s soon? Uh. Yeah. Just I need to go get my flux capacitors and uh, iron engines. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Great. Well, thank you. I'm gonna go do captain stuff then while you're doing this. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Puff. Bye. Well, guys, let's not mince words. This episode has gone on long enough. I'm going to take some time. I'm going to find that clone. And also, I'm going to start making other clones, too, off camera. So hopefully, at the start of the next episode, you'll see that we have an army of clones. That's what we're looking for. An army of clones in the next episode. So thank you guys again for so much for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the ship with Kyle. I hope you're looking forward to seeing what this warp drive looks like that Puff is inventing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.